hello dear student welcome back to the english class and in today's class we are going to start with new poem the quality of mercy by william shakespeare about the author william shakespeare he was born in 1564 and he was passed away in 1660 he was rendered as a greatest poet and play writer even in the english language he was born in stanford upon avon in the england his father was john shakespeare and was a prosperous farmer and wool timber merchant and his mother was mary arden he was a daughter of prosperous farmer it is said that shakespeare attempted the endowed grammar school at stanford uh, where he picked up the small latin and less greek to which his learned best friend ben johnson refers he wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnet about this poem the quality of mercy it is the memorable it is taken from the play merchant of the venice it is an address by portia to the sylock in the law of court where she demands to show the mercy mercy is the mightest of the mightest is the central theme of this poem because it is the power its the power is the mightier than the all other powers that the king can boast of the quality of mercy it is the constant now in this poem there was a situation where the court is going to give the judgment in front of monarch or king we can say at that time the portia she conveys to the king how mercy is important the quality of mercy you can read one poem okay and uh, you can grasp as usual step by step the quality of mercy is pursue speech and it is from the play merchant of the venice the speech is made the court of venice it is the persians to the multicate and admonent shylock play for justice shylock is a jew merchant and he insists on having a pound of flesh and he has ill will to demanding the penalty from antonio the honest merchant of the venice he wants to finish his enmity enemy antonio and the portia pleads for the mercy and she elaborates on the quality and importance of mercy portia says the quality of mercy is not strain look at the first stanza portia says the quality of mercy is not strain it is the spontaneous act of human kindness it comes naturally it does not need any external force it drops like a gentle rain from the heaven it comes as the leaves comes to the a tree it is the twice blessed it blesses him that gives him that receives both giver and receiver feels blessed by the act of mercy an act of mercy teaches us to render the deeds of the mercy the root or the basic principle of all religion is mercy and compassion the value of mercy is immense it cannot be major it cannot be mightiest in the mightiest mightiest in the mightiest a monarch power is a temporary the king's power is temporary he is remembered as long as he is in power but his merciful acts are remembered forever a king spectator shows the force of corporal power or their man power muscle power but it is an attribute to the o and the majesty there lies in the dread and the fear of the kings but the power of the mercy is about the sway and spectator the king's mercy is enthroned in his heart it is an attribute to god himself a merciful man is like a god on the earth sometimes an act of kindness is weighter come memorial than the rule of law the merciful acts lead us to ultimate salvation 
पोर्शिया डिटेल्स ऑन द नेचर एंड फीचर्स ऑफ द मर्सी शी आस्क शायलॉक टू रिकन्सिडर हिज डिमांड शी सेज अ पाउंड ऑफ फ्लैश वुड टेक लाइफ ऑफ एंटोनियो एंड शी सेज द एक्ट ऑफ पार्डनिंग विल लीड हिम टू द सालवेशन बट अनब्लेंडिंग एंड एडमांड शायलॉक स्ट्रांगली आस फॉर ए पाउंड ऑफ फ्लैश Ultimately, his purpose is defeated. Portia asks him to take extract a pound of flesh without shedding a drop of blood, precious blood. And Shylock is mocked, shocked. Suddenly he sh- mocked. Suddenly he shocked and sent to the jail. And merciful act of Portia blesses both. Basinio and Antonio thus in this play William Shakespeare shows the power of mercy in the life it is happens in everywhere it is universal we can say the mercy the central theme of the poem is mercy it develops the virtue mercy compassion sacrifice right so there are some difficult word in this poem and it is in old english please go to the back side of the page page number 140 you can get the meaning and read twice and follow the notes and write it down in your fair book thank you so much have a nice day